How are you guys all doing? Thanks so much for coming by the channel. Today we're gonna to be going through the NLT, New Living Translation, Every Man's Bible. And this is in large print. This is the deluxe genuine leather edition, a really pretty Bible. Hey, for those of you all who might be new to this channel, while you're here, you're gonna get encouraged and challenged to be the Christian that you claim to be. We're gonna do that by sometimes going through scripture, um, but always by reviewing solid resources and tools to help make your day-to-day -day better and more Christ-focused. This is one of those tools, so let's get into it. All right, again, we have the NLT, New Living Translation, Every Man's Bible, large print in deluxe, genuine leather. Uh, this Bible is put out by Tyndale. I wanna say thank you to Tyndale for sending me this Bible so I can show it to you all. Uh, we're all about resources and different Bibles uh, there's a, a right tool for every job, right? And so some of you might ask, why would I want to have so many different Bibles? Uh, one of the reasons is because some of these study Bibles that I review, uh, I'll post a link down in the description to other reviews if you're interested. Some of them have very unique features that speak, and this is speak to us differently, and this is one of those. So as I was talking here, maybe you wanted to pause and take a look at this, but this gives you a little example of... Um, why this Bible is unique, why this speaks to every man. And we're gonna go over those features. I just wanna kinda of show you the box here. It's actually a really nice box. Um, this retails for $73 on websites. I'll leave some websites down in the description, Tyndale's and Christian Books, of course. And I'll also leave a link to Tyndale's, like this specific Bible's site if you want to take a look specifically at, uh, at any additional resources that Tyndale might, might link to you for that. But let's get the, the box out of the way and, and take a look at the Bible. So this is a super nice Bible. Again, this is the genuine leather edition. There's always a few different uh, models or editions uh, when it comes to the, the cover. So choose the one that's right for you. A lot of times they list them in here and we'll take a look when we get there, uh, the title page. But let's take a quick look at how big this Bible is. It's, it is sizable. And again, this is large print. So that always increases the size of the Bible a little bit. So you're looking at six and three quarters inches by nine and a half inches and one and three quarters inches. So it's a, it's a sizable Bible, but it is a study Bible. There's lots of extra helps inside here. All right, the I'll tell you what, this is uh, genuine leather and I, it, it has a very nice feel to it. I appreciate the grain of the leather. Uh, it's always nice, especially if this is gonna be your daily driver to have a, a nice genuine leather bound Bible. The spine is very simple and I'm the type of guy who appreciates that. You'll notice there's nothing on the front, nothing on the back. Uh, it, it's simple, I like, I like my Bibles like that. Um, I appreciate that and all and it just tells us Tyndale every man's Bible NLT and that's it it does have a uh, nice gold art gilding and one ribbon and I'm gonna say this like I do on almost every video um, I would love to have especially in a study Bible I would love to have more than one ribbon so if you can swing it put a couple more ribbons in there for us this is not a red leather edition. For those of you who might be interested one way or another, just want to make sure you know that. Uh, but it's just a simple, kind of simple rugged design. Paste down liner. And we get our presentation page. Oh, incidentally, uh, it is three pounds and eight ounces. That's, that's per the manufacturer's specifications. I did not personally weigh it, but I have no reason to believe that it's not that. Um, so it's not super heavy. It's only, it's only three and a half pounds. All right. So presentation page is small. That's okay. I prefer more personally, um, especially in a Bible like this dads, uh, that might be taking a lot of notes. And this is something you're going to pass down to your kids. Make sure you fill this out. I, I would prefer it to be slightly bigger, but they give it to us. And, uh, and I appreciate that. And we have our title pages. Every Man's Bible, large print, put out by Tyndale. 
This is the New Living Translation. And here we go with the uh, title page. Okay, it is printed in China. I'll kind of move it along. So if you want to, if you want to pause and read all this information, you can. A lot of it is very similar for every New Living Translation Bible. But I want to point out this. This is where oftentimes you can find all the different um, text, or uh, sorry, all the different cover editions, such as you know, genuine leather, leather-like. All right. So you get your table of contents. I like to mention this when it comes to study Bibles. And I'll drop a card up there as far as uh, like, what do you get with a study Bible? Why might it be different? I, I have a video on, on study Bibles, not one in particular. Uh, but it, the table of contents in a study Bible is important. And this is where it's going to give you a whole bunch of information on all the extras that, that you're getting. Uh, and that's important. So it's going to tell you you're going to get your intro. You're going to get your contributor. Uh, sorry, your... Uh, who, who contributed, and that's important in a study Bible, and we'll flip open to it. A little note on the translation team. So let's take a look at some of these things. But, as, but some other things that are going to be really important are these indexes. And in this Bible, the indexes are in the back, and the indexes are where you're going to find all your articles and uh, all your extras. You're going to find a list of those so you can quickly flip to them because they're all dispersed through the Bible. And that is essentially why it's a study Bible. So we have, um, we have our just canonical order, Genesis through Revelation list of books, and usually an alphabetical order uh, list of books here as well. Then you have an introduction to the every man's Bible, and this is important. It's important in every study Bible, but you're gonna wanna read through this, especially the first time you, um, the first time you pick this up, because this is gonna give you information on this specific Bible, what you're gonna find in there, what the study notes are all about, what the individual articles are all about. And like I said in the beginning, different study Bibles have different, uh, potentially different information and articles in there, such as the apologetic study Bible or the chronological study Bible, life applications, right? Uh, the archeology span study Bible. You're gonna to wanna to read what those features are and I'm gonna point those features out to you uh, today, which is why we're doing this review. But when you get this Bible, make sure that you take a look through here. And here's your contributors, your contributors to the Bible. And there's always, uh, at some point in here, you're gonna have your translation team. So the contributors are those who uh, kind of organized and designed the Bible, and you're gonna to wanna to know that. But even more important is the translation team and who is commenting. Uh, on the Bible and who is writing this information. And since I just mentioned that as we're flipping around here, all the notes are written by Stephen Arterburn and Dean Merrill. Stephen, if I am mispronouncing his name, I, I apologize. Stephen Arterburn is the founder of New Life Ministries and the author of Every Man's Battle. That book series has been around for a long, long time. Um, it's great because guess what? Men, uh, all if not, most if not all men suffer with very similar problems. One of those problems uh, involves uh, women and our relations with women and lust issues, right? So he writes and talks to that and this Bible is gonna deal with a lot of those issues in a scriptural textual way. So we have the translation process here in the beginning of the Bible and this is specific to the New Living Translation of the Bible. It just tells you what their philosophy in translating it was, how and why, and then you get into the translation team. I always like to point this out because you want to know who is translating your Bible from Greek to English. Uh, and this Bible is chock full. The New Living Translation is chock full of phenomenal, <laughs> amazing uh, exegetes, FF Bruce, uh, scholars, you know, scholars in their field. You can just read them. Uh, you have, I think, Craig Blomberg, FF Bruce, Daryl Bach, okay, DA Carson. These are major names in in the world of biblical exegesis and that's important to know that the that the, that's a accurate trustworthy translation of the bible and then this has um some information on stuff like this so what what the bible is all about and how to lead a men's bible study and I, that's pretty cool because guess what men iron sharpens iron and we need to be loving on each other and helping each other through uh this world especially in these days, as you're watching these video, 
um, things are going on, things are happening, and this gives you a little bit of an, an idea of you might have a bunch of friends, a bunch of brothers that want to get together and have a Bible study. We're not sure how to do that. This will help you do that. How you put that together, how you might um, open the Bible study and pray together. And it gives you um, kind of some questions that you might ask. And it gives you a few examples in the front of the Bible. Someone you should know, let's say. Maybe you want to study in your Bible study Esau. And it gives you an example of how to do that. With a couple of these examples in the front, you can use this rubric or this algorithm, whatever you want to call it, to design other Bible studies and more Bible studies by using, by, by using this, uh, their method here, which I think is phenomenal. You can take a lot of tips and tricks from these example Bible studies to help you because we need to, even in your own personal Bible study, ask yourself these questions. You don't have to be in a group, men. Um, <laughs> when you're studying it by yourself, you can use these ideas to help you learn more. All right. Then we have this verse finder. I love these verse finders. I have a lot of different study Bibles that have these. And I, I, I always want to make sure you know that they're in there and point them out to you. So uh, what is a verse finder, you might ask? If you, have, if you want to learn a little bit more about abortion, right? This is, alf of course, alphabetic order. Or abuse or accountability. How about that one? Okay, you can flip to these verses that gives you the page. Flip to these verses and, uh, and it will help you uh, learn a little bit more, <laughs> again, using scripture and text about what the Bible has to say about those things. And it does have after, um, I believe right here, after the verse finder, a one-year reading plan, okay? So again, your one-year reading plan, you, can, you don't have to start on January 1st. You can start on April 15th and just keep going and flip back open to the beginning. But it gives you... Um, a Old Testament and a New Testament and a Psalms and a Proverbs. And that's a great way if you are motivated and want to read through the entire text of Scripture in a whole year. This is a great way to do it. And it's right here in your Bible so you can check those off. Maybe um, this year you want to make a point to start doing that now. So pick this Bible up. You can write in it. You know, hey, I'm going to read all the way through this Bible and I'm going to read all the notes. It's a uh, fantastic way to interact with the text and learn. Okay, inside the Bible, let's go through um, what you're going to get here a little bit. So you're going to get some, I have some things marked out that I'd like to point out. So you're going to get, of course, some book intros. The book intros are on the shorter side. These, this is not a full commentary, uh, you know, with, with pages and pages worth of notes. And that's okay. The idea is to help us study. And as we're studying in this Bible, you're going to get uh, helps and articles and commentary notes that are designed and directed towards men and what men suffer through and how men see the world. Um, so you don't need pages and pages, but you are going to get a book intro. What's the book about? Uh, you know, and my, I'm a man. Um, and so I guess I can speak to, for some of us, a lot of it's nuts and bolts. We, we like to get down to what's happening here. Help me understand this. Give me the meat and potatoes, right? And that's what you're getting here. And I appreciate that. What is the book about? Who wrote it? They didn't give you two pages on who wrote it. Um, if you want to do that, great. Grab yourself a commentary. But if, if you just are looking for nuts and bolts study, this is the way to go. Who wrote it? When was it written? Those are important pieces of information that you definitely want to know. Um, but this just kind of gives you a nuts and bolts breakdown, right? Gives you a quick little, a quick little breakdown of the book, key concepts that you're going to find. Okay. And they, they call it a scorecard, right? Um, who kind of a, a who's who of what you're going to read about. And this is actually super cool. <laughs> the, the reading time, um, in hours, how long it's going to take you to read this book. And each book has that. Uh, again, this is nuts and, nuts and bolts, meat and potatoes, men. Um, and it's, it's aimed at us. And I, I think it's fantastic because, hey, how long is it going to take me to sit down and read this book? A lot of us ask those questions all the time. This is a super cool little section that I really appreciate that it has. And I've taken a look at some of these and it gives you just a quick, hey, these are some verses that you might look at that are worth memorizing. 
because we ought to be memorizing scripture and meditating on us. And this helps with some of them so you don't have to go it alone and try to figure out what the best verses are to memorize. It'll give you a few tips and tricks to do that. All right, so let's flip open and take a look at some of the other parts of the Bible that you're going to get. You're going to get uh, verse-specific study notes. Okay, so that's these down here. So this is the main text. And you're going to get verse-specific study notes. They're always slightly different in size. Um, I believe that the font is a nine-point font. The actual text is a nine-point font. So it's plenty big enough to see. And the layout, uh, the layout's double column, right? Paragraph format. And I don't, I don't have a problem kind of looking through and, and reading this. There's not too many lines squished. Sometimes you get too many lines squished, you know, per sentence. Um, and there's not enough space between the lines. This doesn't, I don't have that problem. We do, as we look through here, get a little bit of ghosting. But most of the ghosting is stuff like this that you see in the background. Um, and these are the little helps. So it doesn't bother me when I'm reading it. It doesn't detract from the reading for me personally. That being said, I want you to be aware, you can probably see it a little bit here in the background, that you're going to get the ghosting of these little helps in the background. I don't have a problem with the actual, uh, this page is, it's always hard to see on a camera, but I don't have a problem with the actual words coming through so much as you're going to be able to see the shapes in the background that helps. So that was worth mentioning. Uh, I'm going to try to go through some of these and show them to you. I know that if you're hanging in there. Uh, this is a longer one, but these Bibles are chalk through, uh, chalk full of good helps. So you get verse specific study notes. You get men, women, and God. It focuses on like, on basically our important relationships. So you see, you get a whole page about different things here. What the Bible says about, I like these because we have those questions, right? What does the Bible say about how I should use my time? What does the Bible say about, um, you know, about sports? What does the Bible say about alcohol? We ask ourselves these questions all the time. This, uh, this has a handful of these articles. What does the Bible say about there? I think there's, um, uh, I don't know the exact number, uh, but they have these all sp spread out throughout the Bible that will help us. It gives you Bible verses. It gives you a uh, little, almost, I'm not going to call it devotional because it's not that, but it helps you walk through the scripture and answer the question based on scripture that you have. And I appreciate that. Okay. So this is one of those men, women, and God sections. So again, are the two most important relationships that a man has is between he and God and he and his wife. And there is a lot of talk about uh, intimacy and in marriage uh, in this Bible, because it's something that men struggle with every man does if they tell you they don't uh, they're lying so it's a problem and it's all throughout scripture it's probably one of the things that sexual immorality is probably one of the things that's mentioned the most and we struggle with that men so it has a whole lot of helps on that and how to guide and direct our thoughts and how to keep our relationship with both god and our wife sacred and intimate and i appreciate that um and i appreciate that those are right here in the bible for us it has this little spotlight section and again these aren't every page see uh, but it is they are scattered throughout the bible and the spotlight gives us different things sometimes charts sometimes just highlights parts of verses for us there are uh here's another one of those spotlight sections that i wanted to how long did moses talk is <laughs> the speeches of moses and it gives you some ideas uh, and again a lot of these they're, they're directed specifically towards men and I appreciate that because we want to get down to nuts and bolts and you're reading through thinking, I wonder how long this speech lasted. Well, that chart, give it to you. Uh, here's another one of those, uh, what the Bible says about sections. What, what does the Bible say about failure? How are we to understand that? All right. So uh, here's another set of profiles. There are 98 profiles. This one is on Mordecai. They're profiles scattered throughout the text as you're reading based on the section you're reading in esther mordecai right and it's going to tell you a little bit more about him you know and they've taken both the good and the bad <laughs> both good and bad role models for men and they've given us 
information, more information on who that person was and why they're a good role model or why they're a bad role model. There are lots of articles strewn throughout. Um, perspectives gives you a little bit more perspective on the verses that you're currently reading. And I had a section here marked out. Anyway, my hands, my fingers aren't working. I apologize. And these I definitely want to point out. So they have these articles uh, written that are on, there's specific topics that are written about, but these, these are the articles called Personal Gold. They're little featurettes that come from the books, uh, that come from books of well-respected authors. So Dallas Will Willard is a incredibly respected author. He's written a bunch of good books. One of them is on spiritual disciplines, okay, uh, which we ought to know. And they've taken an excerpt out of his book and given it to us inside this Bible to help us, um, to help us be better Christians. All right. So that's what you're going to get as far as help and study notes in the Bible. And that is one of the, that's what this Bible focuses on. Let's talk about a little bit more. See, here's another personal gold section. Uh, the font, they didn't tell me specifically the font uh, for the notes, but I'm going to guess it's probably a seven and a half or an eight. Again, still very readable. I really appreciate that the notes are not double column. That helps me personally. Um, you're going to get you're going to be able to find them really easily because the numbers are in bold that they match up to. And the text of scripture is in double column uh, paragraph format. In the back, we have a couple of things here. So we have our, what I mentioned, we have our indexes. Indexes are important. Remember those personal gold uh, articles or excerpts from books that I told you about? Here they all are written down, and here is the page that they're, that they're on. And you might want to flip to one of them. Hey, I want to read Chuck Swindoll's. Hey, I want to read Tony Evans's. You can flip to page 197, and you don't have to look through quite as much text of the Bible to get you there. Um, and they have indexes on all the helps. The Men, Women, and God Index. Here they all are. So if you're struggling with something you they think they might have written about, go here, okay? Uh, then we flip to the back and we get our, um, our maps. These maps are actually really pretty and I appreciate the paper is slightly subdued. It is on cardstock, uh, but it's not shiny. So thank you so much for making it not shiny. Sometimes the cardstock is too shiny and you can't read it and this Bible doesn't have that problem. All right, as we're wrapping up here, getting to the back of the Bible, we get what, five, eight maps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, eight maps. And just one little page. You could write something on here, but it's only one blank page, okay? Um, but this is a fantastic Bible. It's a fantastic resource. Do I have a specific guy in mind that I'd recommend it to? No, I don't. If you're a Christian man, this would be a fantastic resource because of the helps that are directed towards men and how men see the world and how men understand things and, and it'll help you read scripture. So even if you say want to buy, um, want to buy one and stick it on a shelf, even if it's not your day-to-day -day driver, it's going to have a lot of helps and resources in here that I think that you as a man will benefit from. Again, I want to thank you. This has been a review of the New Living Translation, Every Man's Bible in large print, deluxe, genuine leather edition. I will have links to this Bible down in the description. If you have comments or questions, please leave them down in the comment section. I always do my best to answer the questions. If you guys have something specific that I left out, um, I'll go back to it. Hey, you know what? If you have appreciated this video, if you think that it has been valuable in any way, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button and share the video. You never know when one of your friends might be looking for uh, just one of these Bibles that I've reviewed and it might help them tremendously. And if you're a regular viewer and you feel in any way led to give, uh, I have included a link to my PayPal account down in the bottom. Don't forget, be who you claim to be. And may the road rise to meet you.